there's a lot of health in the industry and it is reflective of the fact that magazines continually are the mirror of uh, contemporary culture and as long as those titles adjust their content to uh, report on that uh, on that relevance in the societal changes that we're going through uh, that will su succeed very well and the channel will continue to to do well it's it's always going to be relevant I talked about you know in terms of engagement uh, of certain uh, stories and news events that magazines although they don't have the immediacy of newspapers or 24-hour TV or, or in fact the internet uh, can still take a story or an event like uh, Australia's Next Top Model and Harper's Bazaar did the split cover with the runner-up and the winner of, uh, of that event because there was a huge sympathy vote for how well that girl that carried herself and uh, and that magazine's now sold out so there's one fantastic example of uh, you know their relevancy in, in today's media landscape uh, other examples that um, you know we went through you've got news magazines with the launch of Master Chef uh, again a great uh, way of uh, taking a brand cross-platform from TV into to magazines uh, and a phenomenal success I think it's going to continue uh, to be a viable business on a much broader base I think that as uh, as we've seen the magazine industry um, continues to grow sideways there are segments now that have magazines that never had magazines before and that means that the enthusiasts whether whatever the category gardening or high fidelity uh, music systems or what has a special interest magazine that caters to that. Like I think anything that, that celebrates not only magazines but, but the, you know, the business we all work in generally I think is, you know, is, is highly commendable. Um, it's all about raising standards and, uh, and improving, uh, improving the process. Um, for those that were here, I uh, had the pleasure of, uh, of listening to, uh, to Bernard Laser and he's talking all about exactly that. It's all about improving standards. You know, too much of our business has been driven by uh, the financial boffins and um, we really should be awarding creativity, should be awarding great work and that's what uh, awards like the AMA does. I think they're absolutely vital to the future of the business and given the fact that it's peer judged and judged by some pretty harsh judges, it's a good, good result. 10 of 17 and, and the major awards are not bad batting so we're very very happy but it's a credit to all the editorial teams, the sales teams, ACP is a powerhouse and uh, we're back.